My name is Neil Carter. I live in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm a teacher. I'm a writer. I'm a father. And at this point, I'm pretty openly secular. Being openly secular in the Deep South comes at a higher cost than it does some other places. Because around here, people are taught that morality comes from religion. So if you don't have religious beliefs, then you must not be a moral person. Well, that's not true, and that's not fair. But it falls to people like me to try to dispel those myths, which is a really tall order because those stereotypes are really deeply entrenched in our culture. Somebody said that living in the Deep South is like being in church everywhere you go all the time. And that's true. People wear their religion on their sleeves down here. It's a big part of our culture. But that's why it's even more important to be openly secular in the Deep South. Because we need to show each other that even though we believe different things, we're actually good moral people. We work just as hard as you do. We care for our families just as much as you do. We probably work in the same buildings. Our kids go to the same schools and they play on the same teams. We're just like you. We're not any different. We don't have horns growing out of our heads and we don't kill puppies and cats. When I first came out as an atheist or as a secular humanist, I did it by attending an interview at a local church in Jackson, Mississippi. The minister was very warm and very welcoming, and so was the church. And they asked me some questions, and I answered them as best as I could. And a lot of people have expressed appreciation for that video because it showed that a Christian and an atheist can sit down and have a civil conversation about their differences of belief. Like I said, being openly secular does come at a high cost. And I've lost a lot of friends because I admitted that I wasn't a Christian anymore. Many people didn't know what to do with that, and they didn't feel comfortable around me. That does happen. But what you'll find is that even though you may have to start over from scratch like I did, you'll end up making a lot of really good new friends, very supportive, very warm, very kind and loving people who are also openly secular like you. And nowadays it's a lot easier to do because of social networking. You can find people who are like-minded all over the country and all over the world who can support you and be your support group. So I'd encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity and come out. Let people know. If you're not a believer, show them that you're just as good and just as loving as anybody else around them. Now's the best time to do it.